well, geez, like, you know, maybe we'll put this on YouTube, but I really doubt it. Honestly, I really doubt it, you know, because uh, exhausting times. Steven, you put something into the... Oh, Steven's gone again. Lost huh? him again. That's unfortunate. So this is a great ex <laughs> uh, kind of telling of what's happening right now, guys, is that um, so we had planned today that we were going to do our level six stagger heart one shot. Um, Steven's, this is so sad. I'm going to hide him so that people can't see him real quick because he's like literally looks insane. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's there back. He's back. Okay, great. Um, Don't worry, I'll get a screenshot. Yeah, just wild. Um, but anyway, so Steven's internet is fucking off. Well and truly fucking off today, guys. Um, and rather than, as people in our community know, uh, our finale that we did, oh my God, on... Monday. I can't believe that. Um, we had a lot of internet issues on our side. The weather decided to get correct with the theme and was like, crash, smash, storm, death. And the editing process, the post-production process has been absolute garbage. Um, that's why our video didn't go live today uh, on YouTube is because I just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't. So I'm going to work on that over the weekend and get it up on Monday at the latest. Um, so with that in mind, we're not going to do a full level six one shot tonight. We're, it's just a, it's just not going to happen. Um, but we were all here anyway. And so we're going to just sit and talk through stuff with me and Justin and Steven and Chris. Um, and that way, when we come back to you for our level six, we'll be in good shape. Um, Justin, just like for practice sake for the next one, do you want to try? Or how did how do you want to handle it? I don't know. I already forgot the lines. Oh. Hi, everybody. I'm insert whatever. Uh, that's, that's a lot. Uh, yeah. If you want, like we can sure. as like we could just do like me and Steven doing the thing. That's fine too. I do think I it'd be fun to have Justin as part of it though. What if I do? What if what if we did this? You do the second part. Ready? Hi, everybody. I'm Rachel. And I'm Justin. And we're the Fate yeah. Divinities, a channel here on, doesn't matter where we are, that plays Daggerheart, uh, which is the new tabletop RPG from Critical Role and Darrington Press that is currently in open beta 1.4.2. We are officially entering the final month of play, um, and they... They being Darrington Press, they being Matthew Mercer and Spencer Stark have asked people to play higher tiers of play, one shots if they can, to get feedback to them about how the games are going. And we are going to be playing a level six. Um, but because we have three GMs in our group, which is super fun, uh, we have the opportunity to not make GM super exhausted and also to see different play styles and all of that so it's a lot of fun um I have obviously I'm usually your dagger master won't say the other part <laughs> and, uh, and Steven has done a one shot for us at level five and now it's gonna be Justin's turn in the GM chair so um but this is your it's not your first time GMing for Daggerheart because you've done it a little bit at home, right? Yeah, did, did one uh, last week. Yeah, okay. Um, how did that go, by the way? Uh, so yeah, I was actually, you already know, I was doing it, doing it as a practice run for this session to see how this would work as a one-shot uh, and also just to try out uh, Dagger Mastering uh, mm -hmm. on my own. But uh, those were all brand new players, hadn't played Daggerheart before. They played D&D, &D, uh, Genesis, and the like, so they were able to pick it up pretty easily. Uh -huh. um, you have, they had a lot of fun making their characters, and they like it, what a wild and crazy the characters can get. Uh, we had a uh, bird frog, a uh, fungus clown giant, um, and just a classic dwarf, uh, and it was it was wild. Is a bird uh, frog a serif ribbit? Uh, no, he. he I just kind of like let him. Uh, you know, I, we did mixed ancestry. Oh. There isn't a really bird race. He just got uh, to be so, a little bit of a bird. That's fun. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I pulled. Uh, I did pull the fairy wings uh, from the uh, from that side to give him flight, but he was just a uh, you know that frog. Uh, ribbit, uh, ribbit ancestry with uh, some some fairy. Hmm. Yeah, but he just wanted to be a fro uh, frog bird punch punch berry, and was what he wanted. 
Yeah, since they weren't familiar with the uh, class and stuff, I kind of like made it for them. Just since we're making a level six, it's hard for a new person to jump into it that high. Oh yeah. Uh, just... so I made it for them. They had fun. I That's like, so fun. You want. But yeah. Uh, went a little longer than expected, but that was, you know, makes sense for people trying out a heart or trying out a new system. Uh, but I think overall it went well. Honestly, that's something, oh God, and I'm going to have to deal with that soon. Um, but that's something that I really would like is to get really good at in Daggerheart is to just be prepared for people who have never played it ever, but are familiar with others, preferably, you know, to just sit down and you be like, okay, here's your little one shot. Here's the rules of play. We just go and I'm not explaining everything because that's the worst part of board. No, I, I'm, I like it. But most people, it's hard to get people into board games because you're like okay sit here for 30 minutes and i'm gonna tell you how to play it and people are like i'm out i'm not gonna do that and so um i think that's yeah, really they all cool. want, uh, like one of the, the one of the little intro ones that they have on the dagger heart website like literally right below the play test sign up where they have those first videos they watch those and i uh, just caught them up on a couple more basics that they need clarification on but we yeah. just ran from there they just yeah knew okay 2d12 is not a d20 good to go yeah all the rest of it tells you on your character sheet <laughs> so we want to we want to dive into a little bit of this one shot well we have steven's I internet so. available i think so, <laughs> or not yeah. the one shot but the uh, session zero part for it yeah whatever yeah. you want to take you guide everything however will help you the most you know cool yeah i think i uh, will first we can kind of like recap who our characters are and intro who steven's is uh, and try to see how y'all are connected, and then I, from there I can expand. Or if y'all, if if it'd be more helpful for y'all to know where y'all are going, mm. um, y'all just let me know which one of those might be more helpful for y'all. Uh. Honestly, probably the thing that would be most helpful once we get there is gonna be any information that you can give us that will let us just jump right in in the next one to shorten time, because that was your concern, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. Okay. Well, right, cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into our characters. Y'all two want to see Rachel? You want to jump off describing yours again? Sure. I am playing Wilhelmina Roan, which uh, you know you can call her Willow, you can call her Roan, you can call her Mommy if you want. But um, she is <laughs> she is my uh, giant fairy, great fairy, if you will, uh, inspired from the Legend of Zelda series. Um, as one of the great fairies of the fountains, uh, but also majorly influenced by Chapel Row. And I didn't do the makeup today, but I did do it the last time. And I, this is the last time you're gonna see my pride nails, by the way, they're gone because it, it, this one's fallen off, you know? So um, <laughs> we're out, it's done, you know? Pride Pride Month is where we're, they almost made it the whole time. Um, but Chapel Row is a goddess and I wanted to play a character that was her. So I made a giant fairy woman that is inspired by Chapel Roan, complete with makeup, hair, and her fairy outfit specifically. Um, but yeah, she's just a level... Multiple times. Yeah. She is... Uh, she's a level six druid. So... Um, and she's and how tall is she? Nine feet! She's nine, nine feet. feet tall! Guys, I actually don't know if that's even... I think that's taller than giants are allowed to be, right? Or, or allegedly... <laughs> well, I just I can check check for me. What is the height that a giant is suggested? I think they were I think they were supposed to be up to nine feet, but I kind of pulled it out of my head the last time. Um, but I wanted her to be just. I wanted her to be the biggest bitch that ever existed, you know. And so nine feet seemed appropriate. And now I won't back down. Well, Not I'm, unless I'm, a nine, GM tells nine me. Feet. Nine feet probably is appropriate because I know, well, well actually, I'll, I'll just look it up. Well, I remember I when talking. I was initially reading the giant information that I th I was like, huh, they can't be as big as I thought they'd be, you know? So the shortest is around six and a half, while the largest is around eight and a half. So around eight and a half can be. Yeah, yeah nine yeah. foot's definitely around eight and a half. It's around eight and a half. So she's like. She's, but, but to be clear, she's big even for giants. Like she is. She's just tall lady. She's mo like, it's just very cute though. I love is her it, so is much. It the heels? Oh, it's absolutely the heels. Oh my God. And the hair, you know, and she's the hair. right. The tall hair. Yeah. <laughs> big heels. Yeah. She's right at eight and a half feet, but you would never know it. Not with the six inches off that hair and, and shoes, you know, she's, she's not wearing, she's not wearing like, let's, let's not be crazy. It's not like eight inch heels or anything, but it's a solid three. It's not going to be yeah, a kitten yeah. heel. She would never. 
she's a lady. <laughs> How dare you fucking suggest it? Anyway, um, mm-hmm. that's her. Um, she's, you know, she's got experiences such as uh, I'm going to cause a scene at the Pink Pony Club at a plus one. She's got uh, unseely on my dad's side from, <laughs> from like fairy court lore and stuff. And, um, and yeah, she is a druid. So I, I absolutely love her. She's at level six. I picked out her stuff today. Leveling is hard in this game. Or it's not hard. It's just it makes you think. So many decisions. It's so yeah. fun. It's, it, well, like in the because like I think I was talking to this uh, with someone at work the other day. It's just like the leveling in this game makes you think. Like mm-hmm. the only yeah. thinking you have to do in other like like in other tabletops like D and D specifically because I was just leveling a character in that is like it's pretty straightforward unless you're a spellcaster and then you got some you know choices in spelling. Um, but even then, it's not like but, your personal growth. Exactly. It's yeah. your it's ability. Very much is yeah, like, like yeah. every four levels or so, you got to make a choice. Otherwise, it's like, cool, that's what I got. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, everybody that plays Baldur's Gate, how often when you go to level up is it just like, bing, bing, bah, you know? It's just yeah. like, so. Um, and and a barbarian on that. Yeah, it's just more health. Great. <laughs> uh, rogue. I love a good rogue. I like sneaking and stealing. And uh, it is just the game's like, hey, good. You didn't come here to think, and we love that for you. And I'm like, I agree. Um, but yeah, so she, Wilhelmina, you know, she lived in a flower for a long time. Big issues with, uh, with Stink coming around trying to get a blessing. She decided she had to leave the flower and go off to run away to the big city, um, which was just the nearest town with a tavern in it, uh, where she had met Father Terrence, who is not with us tonight. I think that he probably needed to spend some time back home on Howard's Cove. Um, but she also met her paramour. Maybe. Oh, well, it's we don't know. It's it's, it's interesting. And John, he's you're down there. John, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 on the stream. Oh no! Oh god! Oh yeah. John, sorry, <laughs> Brady Bunch rules. We're boxes. John, J- John. Yeah, god, yeah, yes. that's my cue, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm playing John Blackstone, the Magnificent. So he's a wizard. Uh, he's based off like a magician, like an 1800s magician off Harry Blackstone, who like would levitate light, light bulbs, I guess, through crowds and put uh, like light up flowers all over the place. So he's kind of like a flowery magician guy. Um, school of War. So like he grew up uh, in like kind of like a war torn part of the country and then was like a soldier got out of the army and then he became kind of like a uh it's a little bit of like a con man um which is cool leveling up a wizard is fucking gnarly like i have like 30 spells dude and i have no idea what my character does sometimes it's a lot more complicated than um warrior so far but it's been cool because you get the wizards get a lot of stuff what is the what's the codex oh not codex what is the um Grimoire. Domain that you get is—is is it called Grimoire? Yeah, Codec. Yeah. yeah. Codec, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It says yeah. Grimoire. Yeah. That's on what it, I but... thought. I thought because that's—it's not a spell; it's a Grimoire oh, because it's a it. lot of spells. It's a little con- grouping. Of oh yeah, them. right. Yeah. And his Grimoire, I guess, his spells are tattoos on his body because oh, each wizard cool has to have a mechanic to like where you put your spells and stuff. I, I think when we talked about it at first, because we kind of talked about our characters and stuff, it was just writing. But I really like if it's actually like pictures and stuff, you know, like straight up, um, like classic tattoos. You have a lot of really classic tattoos in really in real life and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. That was kind of inspired me a little yeah. bit. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, super dope. Um very interesting especially going to like from level two to level six combat was like at the end of combat i had so many things where i was like damn i forgot i had that spell bro like it would have solved like every problem i ran into <laughs> um, but that's why we do this which will be fun but yeah john's a cool guy he's a uh, combat magician i have so mm. many feelings about john and wilhelmina because like uh it's just uh, the assistant 
Yeah, because Wilhelmina, yeah. you know, steps in and is a little bit enamored of the human, you know, because I think that that's a beautiful story and everything. And he's small, which I think is a beautiful, not small, he's like six foot something. He's big but, for a human, but you're big but for a giant. He's so. big for a giant. So, um, and just the magician's assistant, but she's huge, is very fun. And I think that like maybe, although we haven't gone there and we never will in this capacity of these one shots but i think that maybe like there's l love there or at least of heavy flirtation but let's be honest john bad for willow i mean uh, he's a he's a bad bad <laughs> human man and he's probably gonna if we were to follow these stories for too long i think that john would be hurtful to willow and <laughs> and well, I don't think he's a bad guy. He's just not so either, he's a like a tooth fairy, like Tank. You know he's what I mean? Crook. He's a crook. He's he's just, crook. He wants to get. He wants to get that bag. For John a is a right? walking red flag. Yeah, John does have some issues. <laughs> John, I, I love how immediately in mine, John was like, maybe we steal some stuff out of this. So, <laughs> yeah, Willow wanted to steal too. It's just yeah, that yeah, yeah. Willow is always going to be deferential to the people around her. She's not as like evil as she's just like, what would be fun? Is it yeah, murdering people? Oh yeah, that's fun. Yeah, okay, let's yeah. do it. But Father Terrence would not have had fun if they were stealing from his people. So mm. she was like, we can't, we just can't. I want to <laughs> steal, but we just can't, you know? Um, so that's for the one shots, you know, you want to like try to stir it up more than your campaign. <laughs> fun. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Anora uses codex, by the way, says Kayla, and that is absolutely true. true. Yeah, it's, it's, it, they're crazy. Now you're in for it. You get three <laughs> spells for every spell oh, that yeah. you take. It's crazy. Um, okay. Steven, though. Yeah, so, uh, uh, my character that I'm bringing in, his name is Imris, and he is a, uh, Dracon fairy, or Dracona fairy, is that what it is, Dracona? Uh, Dracona. Dracona. Dracona yeah. fairy. Or a dragonfly. He's just uh, uh, a little little dude. He's um, very much the opposite of what these two people are. They're very big, very tall. And um, Emrys will tell you that he's two foot. He's probably closer to like Oh my god, that's so funny <laughs> to me. He's, yeah, listen. Mm, a dragon fairy says Kayla. I said today I was like a dragonfly. He's he small. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he is like a dragonfly. He's yeah. BB um, girl, BB girl. <laughs> and uh I, I had talked with Rachel and I think that he's just uh, you know, like all fairies, I feel like like moving constantly because they're short lived and and they, you know, want to do things while they have their time. Um, was, you know, just going from city to city and maybe found them at a village somewhere. And uh, while they were performing in a bar or drinking in a bar. And uh, uh, Emrys started talking up uh, uh, Willow's little corrector fairy or corrector sprite that she has. Guys, um, I thought about this so much in the shower. Do you want me to tell you a little bit about her? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she was Stink's corrector sprite, okay? And she's, listen, listen, all the time. But it's because exactly. he fucking wouldn't, you know? Like, she's like, why? He doesn't respect me. And I saw it in that moment. And when Tate, or sorry, when John put the sleep on him, I saw the the her just like sitting there pouting, and I was like, "Darling, do you want to come with me?" And she and she was like, "And you know, okay, all right, fine." And so she came along with us. Her name is not Navi, which no. is the Navi from for navigation, and she has this like. Yeah, he always thought it was Navi, Navi for navigation. It's Navira. You know, her name is Navira. And also, like, sometimes, so she talks like this a lot, and she's she comes up to, to her, and she's like, okay, listen, Willow, you know, I was noticing in that combat, you were, you know, you were holding your wings like this, and that's really not what you want to be doing. You want to hold them like, like this, you know? And uh, and, the la and the last thing I have for Navira is that sometimes she's like, yeah, I've just been so nasal around here. I just don't know. I just don't know what's happening. 
funny. <clears throat> Willow. And then, you know, and she talks like this, and then she just slowly sneaks back into this. Guys, back. <laughs> it's just back. <laughs> 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 I, I love it. I love all of that. Um, <laughs> there you go. There's my corrector sprite. Don't trust me with the ability to make a character. Steven's gone. Is he dead? Did the internet happen? Back. Back. Oh. I'll wait for him to reconnect. Uh, it's uh, depending on how long y'all have known him for. Uh, y'all like what y'all be kind of like pushing y'all to this place to kind of start the one shot is uh, meeting up with a, a fairy lord uh, of a nearby place, and he's going to be kind of like. Y are his es or you know his entourage, his his escort. Uh, Ooh, like for the queen, him. for the king. Very similar. Uh, that he's just gonna be a lord. Uh, you are here to meet a king, but uh, yeah. Sorry, Stephen. I was buying time while uh, allowing you. Yeah, to no, him. you're good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, I was just noting that. Uh, I don't know if you heard it, but basically, you are uh, what's bringing you into this one shot is uh, you are joining a uh, a fairy lord, uh, and you are going to meet a king uh, of that kind of region. Uh, and so, like, depending on how long you have known each other, you're welcome to have been from the same place as this guy. Uh, oh, okay. Or somewhere else totally up to you. Uh, yeah. I hadn't really thought of a place for Imris to come from yet. Um, he's just like, like I said, he's kind of just like a, a leaf in the wind. He's going from place to place. He doesn't really have anywhere. Um, and now that he found... Uh, uh, oh. Navira is, but I, I'll repeat it when he's back. You guys, this is why we didn't do this. This is why we didn't just dive into a level six one shot tonight. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked over like Steve, three hours. By the way, like, look at the stream. It's so sad. Like, Steven, oh, yeah. at least Steven hasn't made like a super embarrassing face at its stuff um, on the yet. First, the first one was pretty bad. The first one was pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 sure that so, he's out. <laughs> so don't put it on a t-shirt is what you're saying. Don't put it on a t-shirt. <laughs> don't put what on a t-shirt. No, um, hi, Navira. <laughs> <laughs> Navira! <laughs> um, so yeah, no, he met Navira in a bar. He fell in love instantly. It was love at first sight. And now he is um, full. Full. <laughs> Everybody, can we all do that real quick? Full. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> it was our blue steel moment. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, Steven said. <laughs> blue steel. Yeah. No, he's from the coal mine. He's from the coal mine? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I know like, what if, he's if, going if to say. Steven a clank, if Steven would have played a clank, we could have just played it off. He could have just been like, sick. he freezes up. Oh, you know, my God. <laughs> Honestly, G hi, Steven. Welcome hi. back. Do you hear us the whole time when that's happening? Nope. Not at all. No. Uh, <laughs> okay. Did you hear the clank joke? Um, I heard that maybe because I was freezing that I could be part clank. Yeah, you're just like walking around and all of a sudden you're like, oh, well, hi there. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> well, I just ain't that look at me. It would work perfectly, so. It would be perfect. Keep going. You have to finish it out quickly, though. Navira. Okay, uh, Navira. So he meets at the bar. He thinks, oh, beautiful, beautiful person. I am destined. This is, you know, destiny. These two idiots aren't going to be able to protect her properly, so I need to travel <laughs> with them fair. to keep it her safe. Incredibly um, because fair. Because I'm like, hard sell trying i'm like just come with me i'll take you away i'll treat you right and she's like, responsible at best. i love willow i'll <laughs> treat <laughs> you right it's wild get your little scaly hands off of her <laughs> ladies <laughs> like, like, um, <laughs> but I, I guess like after we travel together for a little while i would have probably warmed up to you guys <laughs> I so and when you're you, Faye too, so like there's like a that like connection there. Yeah, Willow has no problem with you at all. I would say that <laughs> not not a damn even thought in her mind. Maybe even she was just like, oh, look at him, he just loves you. And Navira's like, what is he doing though? He's still, <laughs> he's still here, <laughs> like you know. Like, um, I do luckily have fairy charmers. One of my experiences. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> Yeah, because Willow. Uh, but when you Willow, yeah. when you said that you like didn't 
when I was like, what's our connection? And you're like, I'm just in love with your corrector sprite. I think we lost him. Oh, no, you're still there. Okay. No, no, I, no. Yeah. I think we're in love with, he's in love with you. I was like, that's it. And so in my head, I was like, this is very bare bones. This is straight up. We went to the <laughs> bar. We like left and we just saw you follow me. We're like, what? And we just, <laughs> and then we kept going. We're like, hi, sir. You know, can we help you? We're like, no. And we just kept going. And there with like, the backup dancers. Like, <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, 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 Emrys is a guardian, a steward guardian. So, he, and, and I've just put all of the armor that I can on him. So he's just this like foot and a half ball of steel that's just like buzzing around. Did you say I a imagine- steward guardian? I think I did. It's a. It's not a Stuart Guardian. What is it? Is Alwart? it Stalwart? Stalwart. 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 Right? Stalwart. Uh, Stuart. Yeah, uh, Stuart. Stuart Guardian. Stuart. It's Stuart. Um, but uh, I just imagine it's like anytime he's in a fight, it's like a tennis ball. Like some people hit him, and it's just like he springs around a little bit and just cool. kind of stays. <laughs> like like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's perfect. Him and Navi, uh, Navira, but she does go by Navi. But they like they they can just like uh, they're basically just two little balls of fight. Letter Kenny reference. Letter Kenny reference. Absolutely. <laughs> it was for me. I don't know. Stuart. Yeah. Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, like, like whole can of tennis balls. Do we um, need to do any of the question portions with you, Stephen? Uh, I, I, want want to. To. I have my experiences. I, I want to read down my experiences too. Okay. Oh, so, uh, at, at a plus three, he's an absolute unit. Just <laughs> that's the experience. An absolute unit. <laughs> Yeah. incredible incredible so good wow wow um, and then uh he's he's a dragon and a bug which i think are like cold-blooded a majority of the time so runs cold is his plus two experience mm-hmm. um and then he has here i am is like a uh that that one's like almost uh my hero reference like, <laughs> oh. I am here. <laughs> like, so if there was ever a moment, Justin, to build into a one shot, like, who would ever save us? <laughs> here I am. But it's like, here I am. <laughs> now he says, oh, rather. <laughs> really, what this is, is me and. have a bite. He likes to cook. Oh, God. Hey, you haven't met him yet. But over in the chef area, you know, over in the kitchen, I have a couple dragon, or, or, or I'm, I'm blanking on the name of the race already, or the, yeah, the Dracona, have a couple Dracona. of those over there in the kitchen at the moment. Perfect. Yeah, no, he, he likes to eat everything. It's um, the problem for you guys is he's a good cook, but he doesn't know how to make meals big enough for oh, like a human and a giant. Awful. <laughs> so, so he's like, yeah, I got dinner ready. And it, it's like, a- <laughs> it's a good snack. Oh like fancy God, <laughs> Willow! But delicious. <laughs> it's a moose bouche. It's like yeah. those meals yeah, on a yeah. spoon, you know, that like chefs are like. The, it's all about the flavors. You know, like it's really not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> if I can murder you, give me a. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually love those kinds of things. <laughs> Almost uh, almond mom is what Kayla said. Almond mom, a hundred percent. Yeah. Just like, listen, you don't need. You, they bring out their small salad plates and they're like, Americans eat too much. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an appropriate portion. Um, <laughs> Justin, what do you need to get through tonight? Uh, I was, or like Next up, I was kind of talk about, like I already started mentioning it, but basically like why y'all are coming here, what the thing is, where y'all are in the world. Um, won't we like, if I, we can actually kind of hop over to that. I'm going to zoom out here and hop us over to the big map. Uh, I think it's right over here. Uh, so yeah, this is a star, you know, world map. Most of our main campaign is taking place over here, a little bit over here, where we are now, you know, made our way. Uh, for our last one shot, we were down here in this corner for Howard's Cove. Uh, we're actually not going to be too far away from that over here in this area where it looks like uh, some former volcanoes or whatever you want to call these. Uh, we're going to be taking place right in here and... Um, you are going to be coming from a, a community near here. Uh, you are just coming towards us as like kind of, the, I don't want to say the capital of this little region, uh, where at least like there is a little kingdom. Uh, they have uh, kind of their own little religion in the in this little area. Uh, but all these communities uh, kind of come in for that reason. 
uh, kind of to say thanks. Um, but so a while back, uh, a couple gen- a few generations back, there was a great uh, you know red dragon uh, causing havoc. There's active volcanoes at the time, uh, but then this you know odd little uh, I say little uh, this large uh, rotund kind of uh, hairy creature with horns uh, kind of rolled up uh, and kind of given off a cold presence uh, and actually was able to you know dramatic climactic battle with this uh, dragon uh, possibly kill it possibly run it off the stories are kind of vague but the the gist of it and that the whole religion's founded on is this uh, creature, the Bafog, uh, has uh, protected the region. Yeah, Bafog. The Bafog? B- B-U-F-F-O-G. Like um, a bad rock of loca. <laughs> close. Uh, kind of like a buffalo dog combination. Oh my god, uh, even better, a Bafog. So it you know, has uh, cold, uh, cold abilities and it was able to fend off this dragon, possibly kill it, uh, and it like settled, like calmed all these volcanoes, stopped them from flowing, they became dormant, uh, and this whole region kind of became a little more, instead of, you know, hot desert, volcanic uh, energy everywhere, it's just kind of a little more chill. Uh, when it's awake and up and moving, uh, maybe when it's angry, it gets a lot colder, occasional blizzard and stuff. Uh, but for the most part, it kind of chills around here, and they built up uh, this castle around where it liked to nest, uh, and just kind of, you know, treats it as its royalty. Uh, it wait, wait, wait. Only... What treats it as a royalty? What's happening? Oh, sorry, not royalty, but as a divine being. Oh, this is a divinity of the area. Uh, it could be. It could just be assumed, like, you know, oh, it's claimed to be. Oh, it's just because it's just, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I, it's I... powerful enough to run off this big, uh, big dragon, but it lives here in the castle. Uh, but y'all know, uh, like, Every, uh, every couple of years, the king calls a meeting. All the local lords and ladies and whatnot uh, come up to meet, you know, bring uh, paying all their usual taxes or uh, just kind of like requesting changes to laws and whatnot. Um, the king here has been kind of lame, but I mean, not not bad, but just not interesting. Um, so like kind of people were not going to say bored with them, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, there have been previous king. ones. Sorry? People are bored of this king. I, he's not very entertaining, you know. Yeah, not, him. not entertaining, but it's just, you know he's not not much to. He's not not a king you really get behind, you know. Um, yeah. He's not the first, he's not he's not the only king that's been here. There's been like I said, it's been generations. Hasn't always been his family. Uh, there's been you know previous meetings, but uh, there there have been rumors that went around where uh, the the you know divine beast the Bafog has harmed or killed people in the area, possibly even a former king. Um, but it's kind of swept under the rug. It can do no wrong. It is the divine beast. It is the befog. Uh, okay. And we're allowed to know what he looks like, the befog? Oh, uh, yes. It just it lives in the castle. It kind of roams around occasionally, but for the most part, it stays here. But y'all, don't worry. You'll see it very soon. Uh, like, yeah, it literally in the middle of the dining hall, there is a giant nest in the center of it. Oh, my uh, God. This is so cool, Justin. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, but. Just peek behind the curtain. I'm basing this off of a board game I made in my game design class with a with the was a group project uh, back at uh, college. Uh, it was literally called Kingdom of the Fog. Uh, set in a castle. So it's like a, we, had to mac, we had to mix up a uh, clue, a dominion, and risk, and make a board game. And we did that, and it was a lot of fun. That uh, is so, so freaking kind of cute. Still in the concept and story stuff from that, uh, but. Anyway, so it's in this region. There's people uh, coming from different communities. Uh, I might kind of give a brief overview of who they like, what those communities are. But when we actually do the one shot, y'all can meet them, talk with some of them, uh, have the dinner and whatnot. Uh, but as you see, they kind of have a big group here. Uh, are there any representatives from Howard's Cove? <laughs> unfortunately, they were invited, but they didn't make it in time. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few, there are a few chairs empty, uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, so your group down here came with a uh, uh, fairy lord. Uh, y'all know him as, we're going to go here, I got my list of all of this. Uh, this is... You put some thought into this, Justin. Wow. Too much time. Uh, I love it. But so uh, is, he goes by Lord Butters. Uh, he has a more formal name, but that's just what he goes by. Uh, that is, I can zoom in here on his little, uh, little character thing. But yeah, this is Lord Butters here. Uh, oh, let's wow. see. he looks sick. Well, fairy fella. Um, he, he, he's, a, he's a little taller. I don't know if it's just like some royal genes or whatnot. Maybe there's been some mixed ancestry somewhere, but he's a solid three and a half feet tall. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Tall, tall fella. Uh, uh, but yeah, so that's Lord Butters. Y'all have traveled with him up here. He kind of filled you on on details 
on like what goes on here and stuff, but and what he was kind of looking to get out of coming here. So he, coming up here with his request to change, change some things. Uh, but we'll get into that uh, next time. Uh, a couple of the other communities. Well, I guess I was also mentioned we have we have the king up here. Uh, that is that's, uh, King Bartholomew. Um, yeah, he has a wife, kids, but they're away currently. Um, but yeah, so just kind of hang out here with uh, that says to uh, captains of the guards. There are a lot of guards around. They are unnamed unless you look at their name tag, and that'll be on you. Um, but the yeah, we have the two captains of the guards. <laughs> Uh, but so that's him and let's say let's roll right over to the next group uh, sitting to y'all's side is a uh, mixed ancestry uh, kind of community uh, kind of a mixture of uh, daemons and clinks um, whoa yeah. cool and so yeah this is where did they go um, oh yeah there we go they are uh, from the Krev uh, if you I, I can go back to the map here in a moment, but like close to those volcanoes, if you looked a little uh, northeast of there, there was a large crack, uh, literally uh, like a canyon. Previously, there was lava flowing directly into it from those volcanoes, but since that was stopped, they're appreciative of the fog, uh, and they come here to pay their respects, but they are now thriving down in there. Um, so yeah, their uh, lord here is Lord uh, Zarnok. That is this fellow here on the left. Uh, also coming with him is a couple of his uh, guards. Uh, Ironclaw the Unyielding and Sir Cage. Uh, yeah, like so Johnny like Cage? Like, uh, more like a Nicholas Cage uh, that I based oh, the, nice. uh, yeah, <laughs> even there a little bit. Um, but oh yeah, we'll see. God. Oh my God, that's uh, so cool. And the Cage. Yeah, Zarnok, Cage. Iron Claw the Unwielding, and Sir Cage. <laughs> yep. Uh, so that's uh, this group here next to y'all. Um, a little further over, we actually have a uh, an alliance. Uh, yeah, they are like two separate communities, but they have a close uh, close relationship uh, as the uh, Furbol as the uh, Fungal Furbolg Alliance. Oh um, my god! We have uh, Lord Glump, Lady Bellow. Uh, that's the uh, two uh, the uh, Fungrels here, uh, and then below that is uh, Elder Thorn, Oaken Shield, and Elder Brian, uh, Leaf Shade. Feel free to just go by Elder Thorn, Elder Brian. Uh, Lady, they're just too long. Uh, it was Lord Grump. Le Grump. And Lady Bella. Yeah, Lady Bello. Lady like Portobello. Bello. Yeah, I know. I got it immediately. Yeah, <laughs> I love <I'm> that. <laughs> and then give me the... I, listen, I am a note taker. You have to give yep, me no, the names. Right, no worries. I was going through the names. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, give me those names again. Lord yep, okay. Grump? Glump. Glump. Okay. Yep. Uh, Lady Bello. Uh -huh. Elder Thorn. And Elder Brian. Like Briar or just just fun Brian, Elder Brian. Elder Brian, yeah. <laughs> oh Elder my God. Brian. Not named <laughs> after what it ended up being. They're so yeah, so that, that's this group. They're a close knit community. Um, They've been shunted right, off yeah. to the side. Oh, there, there, there's another group up here, same, same, uh, similar kind of thing. But yeah, everyone's kind of spread out. They got oh their my own God, thing. The nest, um, the the fog nest. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's their little alliance. They're you know a little more you know one with nature, uh, or the uh, the the Krev. They're a little more tied with technology and stuff. Looking forward, this group is a little more natural one and uh, avoid that. So they kind of have some competing uh, views here at the at this uh, meeting. Uh, up right. here, uh, you will see one that looks like a horse, and I will Probably note that that. that is a horse. Uh, it is a horse. Um, like a Caligula. <laughs> like a what? <laughs> Caligula reference. I know it's not just a head, it's not just a, like head of a horse or anything, but yeah, I'll get to him in a second. But uh, this is a group of uh, I mean they're just goblins. Uh, they got Lady Grishnak over here uh, and her advisor Himlack. Oh, we lost Steven, or at least the video. Um, uh, right, that's me. No, <laughs> yeah, no, so that's we, I can't see him either. Yep, no, Himlack. No, yeah, but the uh, stream the, is yeah, fortunately it didn't move. <laughs> cool. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, Grishnak. So Lady Grishnak. Uh -huh. Yep, Lady Grishnak and, and her advisor, uh, Himlack. Uh -huh. um, and then there is a horse here. That is the horse lord, uh, Clyde. Um, he, like, he, he, like, his parents Clyde's are... Tail. Yeah. Um, his parents are both centaurs. They're just kind of like, his father was, you know, head of a horse, body of a human. No! Her, uh, her, his, his, uh, his mother, normal centaur. He does have a sister, completely human, uh, in appearance-wise, but that's just how genetics work. Um, he got both halves of the horse. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess they thought it was clever to name him Clyde. Oh my god. Yeah, the horse oh um, my yeah, god. Horse Lord Wait, give it uh, again. They... Sorry. Horse Lord Clyde. Wow. Yep. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's their thing. I mean, they're. I don't want to just be stereotypical, but they're goblins. They live out in the woods. They don't want to. They're, they're interested in all this technology stuff, but just out of curiosity, they like toys. Um, they're here to pay tribute. The, they're no longer being harassed by a dragon and uh, you know, having to deal with all that. Um, yeah. Over here next up, we have some more ribbits. Um, these are, uh, we got Lord Fibulus. Uh, yeah, this is the one here on the left. Uh, his guard, uh, Fimpar. And then the last one is Little Ambert. Finbard and little Ebert? Uh, Ambert. Ambert. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Um. Hey. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I, I know we're still going. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a note for you right here. That, this listing of people, give it to us early put it in the put it in honestly yeah, yeah. the uh the discord that like don't look here until stream put it in there yeah a lot of that was honestly still working on that literally couple, yeah. until like an hour or two ago uh, but yeah i'm totally down to drop it in there that's why i thought it'd be helpful for us to kind of go through this see what info would be this good to go where so helpful yeah 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 because yeah. otherwise it was going to be like hey there's a bunch of people you can go meet them mm -hmm. name drop stuff later but i thought it'd be helpful to kind of you know set the setting or set the stage for the dinner also of this is just fun for me because i'm getting to like hear all of the like people and names you came up with but no, i love this kind of shit it's so yeah chris I, I literally watched like three hour videos of like elden ring lore yeah <laughs> just like kick it and nah. listen to me and chris story. are locked in yeah. <laughs> cook <laughs> this shit's right up my alley yeah cool uh, and the last group over here uh this is our simia group uh we got lord gibbonar uh that's the uh, one here on the left is a uh, guard Dutch. Uh, and then the last, or yeah, D-U-C-H on that one. Well, uh, and then the last one is a uh, Sir Simar. Uh, he's uh, one of his knights. Uh, but yeah, this is a lo local uh, Simia group. Dick. I love that. Oh my God. That's a fun, uh, that's a fun dinner party. That's so <laughs> fun. God, it's uh, amazing, Justin. And then let me go ahead and bring over the before just to show this little fella. There we go. Oh my nice. goodness. Wait, zoom in. Yeah, there's, there's a little, there's a little, there's a little oh, befog. he's a bull and a frog. It's a big little chunky boy. He's a uh, bull and a frog? Uh, buffalo and a, and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this was our game design group. We came up with this, I believe it was uh, my friend uh, Travis Shaheen. Uh, we were literally just like throwing words on the board and he was like buffalo plus dog equals the fog and we just like all right cool we're shoving that in the name somehow we may have steven back maybe i'm gonna turn oh oh uh -huh. hey. <laughs> listen well the dinner's over <laughs> oh damn it <laughs> we won have to watch this back. Hey! <laughs> look at the buffog he's a buffalo dog look at him what a handsome fella. His face is crazy. I love him. Uh, <laughs> I love him so much. Wilhelmina is bringing him, you guys. I'm about to have a pet for us forever. <laughs> and, and if I do, guess what? I'm going to change out my spells at level 7, and I'm going to make. I'm gonna have the summon steed so I can use him, which is something that a druid gets in this game, guys. You get steeds. Oh this will be a That's monster badass. to bring along. Yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> I will jeopardize having a super overpowered spell to be able to take this buffog. Yeah, I will say I, I do have it as a, a it's a mixture of some tier two creatures, um, you know, stats wise. Yeah. So you made an excellent traveling companion. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. A safety incarnate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's me running through all of the characters and like kind of what their deal is, you know, what the their vibe is around the region but you know they all came here been summoned by the king and like they'll start out kind of going over some a lot of notes <laughs> uh i kind of start over kind of going over their political needs more or less it'd be the king doing his presentation they would have already kind of hand waved what they wanted uh or well hand waved what they wanted as uh go around to his speech and then we'll go into dinner and then we'll go from there uh see what the rest of the evening uh 
goes you know the uh, like next day uh, after this meeting there's usually a, uh, a speech and like kind of presentation to the uh the uh, capitals community and just kind of like hey people of the town kind of thing here's you know n- the new decrees new laws and whatnot uh just so they can hear that in the morning okay uh, cool. that'd be so kind right. of our countdown throughout the night kind of thing Steven's. and steven by the way you got to uh, oh gato yeah your camera's a uh different but who even knows if you're here no, we you love you Elgato. Yeah, yeah. Elgato. well hey yeah. that's better that at least you guys can hear me yeah. <laughs> oh buddy oh i cover you oh. um he just um so <laughs> i <ain't> silent <laughs> <laughs> just it makes me sad when he has his asthma um man um okay so what was my question going to be? Oh, I so the the this dinner is two things. It's one you come Ooh. annually to pay homage to the king. No, to the king kind of, but also to the befog. Mm. Okay. But the other part is that on these evenings, everybody that is in attendance, they get to vote on laws and stuff for the for the populace. Uh, not necessarily vote, but yes, get to you know suggest like their needs and stuff for the for their for their communities. Oh, just as, just because you're in front of the king, basically. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, what is it like town town hall meetings kind of thing? Yeah. Oh my god, what should we ask for, guys? Do we get to ask for something, or is uh, big like, on, cheese on your, with us asking? Willis on your way up, you're happy to chat with the uh, big cheese, Lord Butters. Lord um, Butters. You know. Wait, Lord Butters is the big cheese? I thought King he, Bartholomew. He is, Lord, he is y'all. You're escorting him. He is. Y'all, that is y'all's group. He's our boss. Yeah, oh. He's hired more as the like, guard. Your yeah. fairy folk are like a friends of fairy folk, uh, mm-hmm. and so he's like, yeah, bring it, bring y'all along, y'all. y'all but you need to say that, uh, like, I oh gosh, that I worked with him at one you point. Yeah. Oh, cool! Yay! How? Do, yeah. So, do we need to know how we know Lord Butters at all? Were we hired? Is he our friend? Should we make that up? Uh, I'm totally, totally welcome to make it up. Stephen just said that we could. Um, say that he worked with Lord Butters before because they're both I, fairies. Both fairies and I am like guard fairy like uh, I built my guy as like a little tank so he would work in like that kind of work I feel like. I got those, got those armored guard guy this tall lady and her friend. <laughs> From his perspective. <laughs> I'd yeah, be, so- I'd be like <laughs> while I was gone I found giants to help protect you. <laughs> great this will make speaking a lot easier uh you know get the attention more Honestly. small folks are hard to get attention yeah i feel like anybody who's not like super authoritarian would love to have willow as a guard because she a big bitch you know like who's gonna who's gonna stop me yeah. Also, we can do this. And like when when you brought us, by the way, Stephen, uh, and you were like, um, "Oh my God, you should hire them." And we're like, <laughs> you know, and I, I say Willow would be like, "Also, we can do this." And um, John, I have a keyword now because at level six, I took uh, I took telekinesis, and so we, as part of our magic act, often we I oh, behold and John. Chris Angel style <laughs> levitates like a god. Okay. And you, what is the thing that you have, Chris? The little, it's not a cantrip in this game, but. Chin- oh, yeah. Prestige, prestidigitation. Prestidigitation. So you can like cause maybe like yourself to either glow a little or darken Ooh. the area a little bit. We can just like straight up feed into this lips them with her presence yeah yeah because that's really the vibe of like those old magicians as it was always like it wasn't like ooh, look at how pretty it was like look at how fucking scary i am i'm a god ah you know so yeah they were often in like carnivals and stuff like that mm-hmm. yeah. like the uh the only thing that the uh, lord butters had to kind of come like coming to the table with the like, only thing he wanted to request is like for his community like they do appreciate that it is a lot colder now uh, like no, not as much lava and stuff, but it is a tad too cold. Mm. Uh, it works out well for uh, Emrys over here. You know, being you know part you know dragon or Dra- uh, Dracona, so you're a little more adjusted to the cold. But the rest of the uh, Fae community is getting a little chilled out. Wings are starting to you know, see, like, you know, stiffen up. It's hard hard to, hard to do stuff. 
So when, when you get that when you get that frost on your wings, it's hard to really fly. I, Unfortunately, John, you could you never know, understand. Our lineage, no. uh, we were we come from a mixture of Dracana and fairy, so our wings are built sturdier. Well, yeah, so well, that's I'm gonna just be a, hard a dainty now. little lady, you know, and I can't really be expected to stay warm all on my own. Oh, so I, I did grow up without blankets. <laughs> John, John, <laughs> not in front of the noble. <laughs> true, true. But yeah, He's so never going to hard... hire you if he knows you're poor. Used to be poor. We're still poor. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's going to be the uh, the hard ask he's going to be bringing to the table. He's going to need y'all's help to kind of get that over the finish line. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll worry about that next time. Willow throughout the evening is going to constantly go, oh, it's so cold in here. Oh, I'm so glad we're going back to warmer <laughs> climes. I'd never stay here, you know? So cold. Oh, does anyone have a blanket? Excuse me. That's, that's, that's gonna go well. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gonna be like, do y'all wanna in know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm chilling in it. Um, do y'all wanna know what magic item I took? Oh, yes, I God, actually I really do. Oh, I yeah. do uh, so I found uh, pocket fire. <laughs> The magic isn't actually the fire, but rather the it's small crazy. square of magical treated cloth that it's wrapped in. <laughs> and I can just start a bonfire with it, and then I can just catch fire with it to start a bonfire again later. <laughs> yeah, it's it. crazy. It's out. It's absolutely wild. That one, my brain, I feel like short circuited when I was reading through that one. What? Oh no, he's gone. Oh, he's back. Oh. No, I'm here. I'm here. Steven, you <laughs> really sit still. more still than anyone I've ever known in my life. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like I never noticed it from all of our years of being a fr friend. I've is he is like right now. That's real. That's, that's an actual real. freeze. <laughs> Man, what a psych out! Was, this one was a great one though. You look fantastic on this one. You know. Yeah, you gotta look for the pixelation. Like, oh, right there, it's not um, rendering differently. You're right. Uh, when he literally it's... fell asleep. I did not think he was asleep. I was like, he's just chilling. Like, <laughs> I know. yeah. Sometimes. Like we talked about that later. I was just like, what's happening over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I guess that's a good question for lead up to this is since this is a brand new one, I how much are we going to start with two hope or do we want to do like the little rolly thing to see how much? Hi, Steven. You're back. Hi. Hey. I'm curious on the, the rolly one you were mentioning, like basically is that you roll to determine how much you get to start with. Yeah, but that is not like a dagger heart ruling or anything. I just thought it was fun of like, you know, throughout an adventuring party's time, you use and lose hope. We could roll, you know, and see how much hope we have. And yeah, like roll plus a one, deep. probably, you know, just to yeah, make sure roll, everybody yeah, has roll, one. Roll. Roll a d6 plus one. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Are we cool with that? Yeah. You I'm guys, gonna we're going to get to roll here. Rolling. All right. Where did my actual character go? Where's my character sheet? <laughs> you get a six. Yeah, I rolled a oh. six. Nice. You don't get seven. Oh, get... really? Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to roll a one. Come I on, got baby. A five. What? So that's also six, right? I also got a five. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's six too. Let's go. Do you want to diminish hours? No, no, no. That's perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, there, I will go ahead and tell you that about a uh, an aspect of the Befog guy, one of his uh, abilities. Where to go? Here we go. Um, where is uh, one of his passives is uh, terrifying. Um, any character that rolls a result that uh, with fear uh, within far range of it uh, actually loses a hope. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, That's as soon as they get in the room or nearby. Are you so he? Yeah. So Cassandra had that. That was what she had. Like that's mm -hmm. why y'all lost the hope that one time. Um, That's so fun. I'm so excited. We we all got so much hope, guys. We're full hope. We're a full hope party. That's a really fun thing. I really knew I was gonna roll a one. Did he use all those experiences? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think how to like. Can you do tag team roles in social encounters? <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> oh, I think I not, think the not mining damage, but like, what would you <laughs> mine instead? I think honestly, we should submit that as survey feedback. I'm not even kidding. I think that they should yeah. have rules set up for it. It should probably be like you both get to roll, 
and you get to add both of your modifiers to it. Yeah, yeah. Whoever gets the better, you get to choose the better of the two rolls, and you add both sets of modifiers. And any experiences that were funneled into it, you know? yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note for myself to suggest. Yeah, that. Reason I thought that because I know y'all also I think y'all also have the belt of unity, right? We sure do. <laughs> oh, oh my yeah. god, we just start a, a, a like a little party dance, uh, the cha cha slide. We, we want to go first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we want to make sure the party's hype. So uh, if everyone can get in line. Yeah, <laughs> conga. We're gonna... we're gonna do a conga real quick. <laughs> You know? This is very important for our culture. I've never, in in fairness to the conga line, I've never been at a party that had a conga line that wasn't a fucking hit, you know? It was so much fun. <laughs> it's <time>. always good. <laughs> uh, I guess, any other questions that y'all have about, you know, this setup, what y'all might be doing? Uh, I guess, yeah, anything, anything else here or how you, about your characters? I'm down to let her rip. Yeah, cool. I, I Looks think super fun. the only other just preparatory thing I have is, um, so I still have all of the potions that I had from last game. I had a stamina potion and two health potions. Is that still okay? Not worried about it. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, uh, yeah I do want to kind of show you like the, the place you're working with. Like we're kind of all focused here in this little dinner area. Uh, the whole thing won't take place there. That's just where it starts. Uh, an event will happen at some point, then y'all kind of spread out from there. Um, but yeah, so we got got a decent place to work with. Has like a little chapel. This is actually where the the, thing, the creature starts. Uh, they set up a little church around his main nest. Uh, got a little bakery, a little smith uh, smithy, uh, the kitchens, a bunch of storage areas that were like the uh, the blanking on the word. Uh, I don't want to say the help, but like where all the uh, people that work here at the castle uh, uh, like they eat and whatnot. Uh, stables, little jail and whatnot, but, and then y'all each have like y'all's individual, not individual rooms, but your group's rooms. It's like group, there may be a group here, group here, group over here, so on. Uh, but we also have uh, multiple floors. And you know, Dick. not necessarily going to go through all the details, like what all the places are, but got a lot to work with. Uh, I'm like, you know, wherever y'all want to go, got, got, got a whole castle. But y'all yeah, will be basically, it's a, it's a lock-in. You're, you're in the castle all night. How are we getting through this in a one shot? I have multiple floors. Don't need the multiple floors. That's just if y'all want to go, like, you know, y'all look around, people travel and whatnot. Uh, Justin, I want to see every damn room. You've given me a castle and I want to see I it all that. now. Like I said, I was worried about this taking more than a one shot. <laughs> That's why I was like, if we don't start right on time, we probably want to hold off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true, like we yeah. might get just a conversation that we're, you're really enjoying. You'll want to carry that out, and like they're still like you know whatever plot we got to get through. Once uh, I saw that horse character, I was like, dude, we're never getting out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> Why? We're gonna have some questions. Oh. They're, they're so the interesting. All of the guys, yeah. For the uh, for the horse lord, is he a lord because he was like he's very you know he's he's accepted it, he's running with it, it is like his thing he's owning, or is he like so shy about it, no one wants to talk about it? Like worked his way up. Does he in fact have language? Oh, he can talk. Yeah. Oh, excellent. He he is a centaur by his heritage. Yeah. But yeah, hundred percent centaur. But, yeah, but it's just you know. Things got mixed around. Yeah, listen, you know? absolutely. Yeah. That's his 23andMe results said, you a horse. <laughs> uh, I wonder uh, how much trouble we'll get in if I ask him what, why the long face. Oh, no. Uh, absolutely. You're a dead horse. Dead. Everybody get your charisma rolls ready. You're sorry. Your presence rolls presence ready. Presence rolls. Prepared. Yeah. Um, More horse than around. Cool. Um, yeah, so what else do you the, need, uh, Justin? I, I think I'm all set for now. Uh, it's good to know what y'all like. like yeah, how, how y'all know each other and whatnot. But yeah, next time we'll pick up. Uh, do any conversations y'all want with y'all and uh, Lord Butters on the way up. Okay. Then we'll cut to I see you're here. Um, the King will do a kind of a quick, quick, uh, quick speech. We can talk about whatever all the different communities want. We'll probably ha- like skip over some, not to you know just bog down the time since we are just trying to do it in a one shot. Um, so we'll just kind of hand wave some of those, but then we'll get into uh, the dinner and we'll go into the rest of the evening from there. So that's what we'll do next. Um, I 
might suggest, given what I'm hearing about this game, because we we haven't talked about reschedule yet and stuff, and probably that's mostly going to take place off of stream and everything. But um, but is is this a game that we think is good and truly accomplishable in the one shot parameters or should we schedule it for maybe like a Saturday or a Sunday so that we have more time if we got started early or, or, you know, based around whoever's schedule, you know, yeah, you're, you're in my practice run for it. I did it, uh, four ish hours, I believe. Okay. Um, but that was also with a group that hadn't played dagger heart before, but they also, y'all I seem like y'all are going to want to get into more of the role play. So that's going to kind of balance out. Uh, but, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, because like just because we're on a timetable of needing to schedule for level seven, level eight, we don't. So we, I think, as a group, we need to do one of two things: either we need to schedule in such a way that allows us to take more time, or we all need to commit to not engaging with a lot. You know, <laughs> or if we did it as a two shot, first part level six, second part level seven. <laughs> uh, I would be open to that. I would be hugely open to that. Do you have, um, do you have something inside of the one shot that allows a level up to occur, or is it just uh, mechanically that requires like basically a long rest, right? Or like, uh, yeah, right? Or I, think so. I, I don't recall. I don't recall the specific rules around how the level up, uh, level up part works. Yeah, I think it... there there are parts when y'all could like basically take a break. Yeah, um, and and you we could just I mean like you know it, it, the experience gaining portion is pretty loosey goosey, but honestly, this sounds so interesting that I'm down. Oh, but my one thing is, and I don't want you to spoil anything here, but I want to be able to use combat at both levels of play. Mm -hmm. All good. Mm -hmm. Then look, guys, are y'all down? Yeah, I got I got a couple uh, count uh, counters already going. Like whenever we started, there will be counters going for different things happening. Uh, so Steven keeps like blinking. I just watched out. Steven like <laughs> appear because <laughs> he went from to. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm trying to purposely when it freezes like reposition myself to appear in a different. Incredible! Spot. It's <laughs> working. It's really doing it. Yeah, no, it's incredible. Um. Yeah, I, I'm down. I think that yeah. sounds super fun. Yeah. Um, and that's something, too, if we, like, set it up with a little bit more, like, prep time in advance. Um, yeah. I know, like, right now, Kayla didn't want to join just because of uh, not wanting to double up. But if she wanted to, or if we wanted to try to invite someone else, too, to sit in with us. Oh, well, we could talk about that off stream for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's an off stream fair. topic. Um, but but uh, but but yeah, like I mean, it's it's certainly doable. But uh, guys, just that it, I I would be really hesitant to do that right now because think about all the audio video issues we had oh, yeah. getting established, <laughs> you know plus like the newcomer to like once we get through the open beta stretch which we have one more month i say it's free for all you know right. but up until that point i think that everything's a little tight um well yeah but i mean even still like i'm down to do it as like a two-part where we break and do like a six and a seven yeah. And then I can run the eight. The eight. Because I know we were going to alternate between yeah. like six, seven, and then back to, to eight. But if we do, I think this is I such do a five, good idea. six, seven, and then I'll do eight. And maybe we can bring us, we can circle back around to like Howard's Curve or Cove or something for eight. I haven't actually thought about something for, for that one quite yet. I was going to let this one run through to see what happened with it. Yeah. The only question that I have as the final piece, and again, I know that we're on stream and stuff, so I don't know that we can get into it very fully, but Justin, you will be away one of the weeks. Is it the week of the 15th? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so I'll be leaving on the 13th. I'll we'll get back around the 20th. Well, this, um, this might yeah, so work we got, we got even better to have mm -hmm. yours stacked up here at the front, you know? Um, just in case. I mean, I'd rather wait for you to be available if it happened to line up, but I think that sounds doable. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We That's can okay. play calendar off stream and kind of figure that stuff out. Yeah, agreed. Okay. 
I love this though. I, what a what a successful session zero. We have a plan for six and seven. Also, Justin, if you want to look up, you know, any music, you can. If it's less important to you, we can just use what I already have because it does have to be mm -hmm. attributable. You know? Yeah, I, I, I that's what I did with mine. Is I just got on there, I went through your like already created playlist, and I was like, I like mm -hmm. these the best. Yes, yeah. Kevin <laughs> McLeod is the goat of just like yeah. free and attributable music and medieval lo-fi, which is what is playing now. So good, love yeah. it. So good. Um, and again, both are like attribute me and then you can use it and that's incredible so um anybody yeah. watching this in the future and you're like oh i have no idea what music to listen to yes you do if any sound bite you've ever heard is kevin mcleod and if you're doing this check out medieval lo-fi it's incredible um which Chris actually found and turned me on to. Yeah, yeah, I used to listen to it oddly. <laughs> I don't even Just, play like tabletop. Yeah, it was incredible. It, it did. Yes. So, <laughs> anything like else? Um, I love you guys. I have one more thing. Can we all? <laughs> I love you too. You. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> wild. wild. <laughs> Steven, I love you so much. I've loved you for so long. You're my one of my dearest friends. I love I love you so much. I just this is what I mean of like Come to go. There's an aspect of my personality that just is asshole. Just because like my brain is like, we're on a mission, I have a plan, I'm gonna do it, and then like somebody says something else, and I'm like, but what about Tuesday? You know, like I, just, <laughs> I love you, Steven. I love you so much. We're gonna Sorry, say my internet was fucky tonight. No, it's okay. What level Take six now, spells man. did y'all take? And this might be good for Justin as prep because these are getting complex. I don't have spells. What ability I'll, did you take? I'll be honest, it'd be helpful to know so I can try to incorporate That's what those I'm saying. into it. Because normally it's just like, I don't worry about what the players have. I'll put the problem in front of them and I adjust from there. But this is better for us to actually get to try this stuff out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I took Banish. So I got cool. that. Yeah, it gets rid of. So I mean, anyway. I'm really as long as you are swinging with a weapon, you're gonna be triggering my stuff. That stuff being, like, um, uh, taking hits for other players near me, dodging hits, avoiding damage. Um, uh, that, that reminds me. Uh, we talked about it a little bit before because I ran the practice session and I was kind of confused on like what to do with the NPC, especially like you're in a combat and you have like ally NPCs how to actually bring them in. Uh, what I ended up doing last time and mentioned to y'all was like, say if y'all have some guard allies and y'all like fighting some other group for whatever reason, uh, you can basically bring them into the room. They're all gonna be, you know, weak guards. Like they, they aren't like doing anything, but they can easily get like hurt by an area effect. Basically you can like pull them in the room. They can move around freely. They can help you, but now they're in like harm's way kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, just something to keep in mind. Like if you ever like, you know, buddy some people up just so they're not one bogging down combat and also because how you do use npc allies is not super clear at least i haven't found the specific rules yet on it um no it sounds like there's gonna be more i'm really worried that it's gonna be really heavy in one five <laughs> um uh because i know that they were doing like the stat blocks and stuff you know um, <laughs> uh, i have telekinesis that's the one that i took the rest of my stuff you're already aware of. And we can put our links. I think we've already put our links to our characters, mm -hmm. but that's my level six. Um, cool. Okay. That's it. That was my last thing. Is there anything last for you, Justin, that you wanted to check in on? I'm all good. Chris, anything from you? I'm good to go. Steven, I love you. Uh oh, he's frozen. <laughs> Love you, Steven. Love you, you Steven. <laughs> Love you, Steven. Give him like another. You can hear none of this, I think. I think he can. It's turning green. I think he can safe. feel it, you know. He can feel it <laughs> coming in the air tonight. <laughs> I love you, Steven. Love ya. Anything you need as the last wrap up, Steven? Go and follow us. We're on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> we're on x.com we're on youtube um 
Instagram, we're there. Just find us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks everybody. Thanks, There's everybody. like it's mostly everybody. us. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.